everyone please welcome to this new session of college humo and uh, today we have sylvester Richest, uh, richardson which are with us he's studying at iift uh, he's doing his masters in economics from there um, so he's now will be i think in his second year yes ma'am right? first year's done na no? yes i'm done okay great so he's in his second year so he has one year of experience at iift and for you uh, was it all offline or was it online also ma'am second semester was partially online and then we shifted to the offline mode offline, from yeah. march and i guess okay so you've done partly online partly offline yes ma'am <laughs> so how what was the, was it there was a major difference when you came back to campus yes and there was a very very major difference actually online mein you actually don't know what is you know the actual experience is just right. that you have to enter a classroom and meeting and then attend the meeting and professors lecture and then just you know you get to campus it was very different like you know there was the other batch also the mba batch is also there we met yeah. different people and we were actually our batch was allotted hostels our, our junior batch isn't a lot matlab they haven't they haven't been allotted hostels so because i don't know because of the batch strength i guess i so we were allotted hostels and then it was it's a good campus it's a pretty big campus and the hostels are also great and there are actually so it's actually pretty diverse we our batch is also pretty diverse we have people from different new delhi so yes ma'am even up i guess i'm sure there will be students from all over india all over india hmm. so it's pretty good we we had you know uh, and plus our professors were also very welcoming also they welcomed us when we came back to the campus so yeah all in all it was good <laughs> i usually cross iift a lot acha because my son's school is right there so i cross it pretty often okay he studies <laughs> in heritage right yeah <laughs> he does <That's> great. <laughs> Actually, heritage also has different campuses. Also, I thought yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, so uh, let's talk about the course content. Uh, you know, upfront that. So, how is so? Uh, I'm I'm sure most confusion about students would be a. It's primarily like famous as an MBA college. Yes. So, how are they taking? You know, how are the how's the faculty, professors, their experience? How are they? Uh, so that is one. the second question would be for for me is it that you know have they brought certain new elements because you know when a new institute kind of runs a new course mm -hmm. they must are they doing something different you know is there some practical uh, way they are doing things so how has the experience been in terms of you know pure academics and the faculty ma'am uh, actually when the faculty is concerned the faculty is really good Uh, they are very you know eminent professors like uh, calcutta university he teaches in, he teaches as international trade so it was it is very good when uh, you know compared to pure academics because ift is actually a mba mba college right originally it's an mba college yeah. so they welcomed the economics batch pretty well matlab they Uh, they actually what happened was when we came to campus they told us they and how we will function and all the, the two different courses will go hand in hand and our batch our class timing was obviously different from theirs they have different class time because their mba is actually in house course right ma'am and economics is not actually you don't it's not necessary in house course so they told us in? they told Moving us all, faculty You have a lot of yes, faculty. Yes, yes, ma'am. When finance, when finance is concerned, as a subject, we have visiting faculties. Okay. Okay, ma'am. And yeah, when and the courses as you know, the ma'am they discuss the current issues also, like research papers, what's going on with the course. They will discuss some research papers. How you know they'll explain what the results are and how it's. actually how uh, how the outcome actually came from whatever analysis they did and 
they are bringing new subjects also ma'am because as we are prepared right we initially we prepared for all different institutes and we know how the, the courses are there all different subjects also which they don't provide in different other other colleges like when it's concerned in finance and international trade so that's the the good element concerned when concerned with ift okay um and uh, how is the program structure like uh, when we when, let's say again regular eco program because iift is you know that foreign trade name is associated with it yes ma'am so yes, a regular eco program the way it usually happens is that you have this you have the core subjects micro macro maths uh, maybe statistics econometrics yes, you have the core subjects in the first yeah. year and in the second year mm. at least dsc it was all optionals so we to yes, we took what we wanted to do everybody typically chooses capital finance they typically choose econometrics mm -hmm. then it's between health and education and law economics mm -hmm. and this and that you you do what you want to do how yeah, does it how is the course structure for you do you have any you know foreign trade specific compulsory papers or is it completely open ma'am for the uh, we have pretty much fixed subjects we don't get to choose much so it was first semester it was the the generic like maths uh, ma maths for eco and uh, econometrics micro macro that was generic like and the second semester we had little different it wasn't it wasn't the typical economics like macro macro uh, micro macro it was a little finance was there a subject was financial economics and we had international trade also second semester and advanced macro economics okay yeah. and then the second year comes in and we have different electives and electives are also pretty much focused on uh, international trade and finance so you can i student can i choose according to her his or her preferences acha and do you want me to list the electives also no just a general idea that you know what are the kind of options that you get uh, okay. you know, if you go to study there okay ma'am the electives I actually the, the electives when finance is concerned is i think derivatives and man derivatives okay and uh, financial modeling and banking and financial intermediation and uh, yeah more or less i think finance is concerned i think these are the subjects one or two i guess i'm not actually no that's okay right i mean now, i but... think that's what you mentioned yeah. was it's more finance and foreign trade focused and uh, i guess you you know you win some you lose some because yes. in in dsc we have wider options but we don't have these finance that's options fine. you know the the way you yeah, are saying you know, we do, yeah we don't have those options so i guess you know it uh, it uh, depends if the student is really focused on you know yeah. because in in with us also even though we had subjects like health and economics and law economics and but a lot of students didn't end up taking those mm -hmm. you know? so uh, so i guess so and so at the end of the day once you do this degree how was the internship how's the internship scene there and then finally final placements how does that pan out is it in the finance field or is it uh, uh you know is it spread across yeah. it's not necessary in the finance field ma'am it's a uh, pretty spread across okay. like analytics is there and even okay. research based internships are there okay. and uh, when internships are concerned it was for us it was 100% everybody got internship somewhere or the other but it was pretty diverse ma'am and uh, even uh, when it's come to and yeah ma'am and when it comes to placements we will see but uh, what will happen now yeah, when we go back to the campus placements will start but uh, for our past batch the average was around 11.5 lpa okay. and uh, the highest went to i think 22 lpa that's pretty good yes ma'am So, uh, do you guys sit for placements along with the MBA batch, or is it no, separate for you guys? No, ma'am, it's separate for us. Completely separate for you guys. So you don't, yes, you're not integrated in, with the MBA batch in any manner. No, ma'am, no, ma'am. Okay. The two courses and placements and internships all are separate. We have two different placement cells also. Okay. Yeah, okay. and the head head of our placement cell, I think, is a professor from Delhi campus. Acha. So yes. the placements at Delhi Calcutta happen. Uh, together as a joint uh, effort yes, joint 
so like some company a company is coming to delhi will also come to calcutta that way yes ma'am yes. oh okay it's purely joint it's a joint effort so yes, so and so companies will come to both the campuses there's there is no company which will come to only one campus yes ma'am and according to their preferences where they want to take the interview it's either delhi or kolkata it's according to them but when they come it's for both the campuses so what if let's say a company is only coming to delhi so then all of you will travel to delhi for that or whether it will be online uh, i think the exams or whatever the initial uh, initial screening process will be online or the the final screening process will be in delhi like you know Okay. the shortlist shortlist students or whatever the final okay. uh, it will be in delhi it oh. will be like that ma'am okay so uh, so it's a joint so that means then there's not a lot of difference between whether you join delhi mm -hmm. or whether you join calcutta mm -hmm. it's that, only, yeah it's purely regional also it's only purely regional and the faculty also it's pretty first semester the first two semesters is it's uh, it's not a uh, integrated different faculties kolkata and delhi okay but then both uh, it it's integrated delhi campus professors can teach us even kolkata professors can teach delhi campus students okay so for the last two semesters is integrated ha ah, they can always travel do one semester here and then go there then okay okay so that's that sounds good and uh, what about activities like what kind of activities do you have uh besides the teaching in the campus how's campus life there campus life is pretty lively ma'am and the uh, societies like the quizzing societies and economic society i've yeah. economic society quizzing society and uh, yeah these two and placement cell is obviously there but mm -hmm. other than i think these are the pretty much activities there present and the campus life is pretty lively you have you will be meeting new people yeah professors are pretty you know casual when it come after class hours they talk to you know normal chats <laughs> kind of <thing. laughs> the fun part starts after class hours <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> that is guaranteed <laughs> <laughs> okay great anything else that you would like to share from your end um, you know something that i may have missed asking about iift or about life there mm. ma'am actually the main uh, would like to share something is that ift delhi doesn't have a residential you know they won't be able to provide hostels if that many hostels they have very uh, you know limited amounts and that goes to the in house course like the mba students and uh, kolkata campus has residential facilities like you can stay in the hostels and those facilities will be provided depending is if there is any vacancy or if there is any space depends on the batch size also so all that and uh, if you are in the hostel the food is also good it's not that bad <laughs> <laughs> so that's good to hear so, <laughs> that's always a problem kya kata mein kya bengali khana milta hai kya mach bhat but Achha. that is entrance gates and in depends where which campus you are allotted and you are depends on your specialization also what you want to do uh, uh, in phd in so and which professor you are going to do it under so it depends on that also okay but we have phd facilities and that is entrance based okay and from iift people are going abroad or anywhere for phds have you seen anything like that yes ma'am i have seen uh up seniors i think there are a couple of there are couple of seniors who went abroad for phds also after iift and okay. they are pretty well i think uk or somewhere i don't okay. exactly remember but our professors told us that our past seniors also they have gone <laughs> abroad for phds okay so i think overall sounds good uh so thanks for sharing i think a lot of students because iift takes in a lot a large number of students so you know it's 
a place where a lot of students can potentially get admission. So it was very important to know what's the structure like, what's you know what to expect from there um, for us yes, also yeah. because they are taking so many students now. So you know, it's like a bulk of students are going to go at IIFT. Uh, yeah. Actually, so. initially there was only you know twenty seats for per campus. Now they are in they're dra- they're increasing it at a you know very inc- <laughs> high rate. <laughs> they made it an MBA, exam MBA type. <laughs> ah, <ekdam bhai. laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's good for the community as such. More students get to go to a good place. Because otherwise SNU and all have 20 seats, 15 seats, you know, uh, 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 not many seats at a lot of places. ISI has such few seats. So we need some exactly. institute which will take more students. And DSE has that in-house thing also. Yes, yeah. 50% yeah. Delhi student, DU. And even MSc, MSc has very little seats. So that I think, I think 25 to 30 seats. Yeah, most colleges are very small Sorry. batch sizes. Only a few, uh, even let's say an IIT, batch size is very small. So IF, IIFT is one which mm, has, IIFT has the largest batch size. Mm, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. All right, Sylvester, thank you so much. And wish you all the best for your placements. Thank you so much, ma'am. My pleasure. Thank Thank you. you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.